Hey, this is Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. We're at my house in Whistler today filming a couple of little balance bar tips. We have Domi. She is a Snowboard Addiction fan and uh, we're here to help her improve her riding today. She's been, how long have you been snowboarding for? Three years. Three years? Yeah. And uh, she is uh, doing her qualifications right now to become a snowboard instructor. Um, we haven't worked together, so we're just going to get on, have a jam and see how it goes. So yeah, strap in. All right. Okay, does it feel tight? Yeah. Feel comfy? It's weird without boots. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So the main reason we um, decided to make these bindings without boots is because it's comfortable. And it's um, True. <laughs> it's like you can train in summer without having to put your snowboard boots on. Yeah. But you can actually take your real bindings and your snowboard boots and train on these in your snowboard boots if you want that real feeling. So if you want the feeling of exactly what it's going to feel like, you can do that. You can even use your real snowboard on this balance bar. Um, this is just a, a more simplified approach to be able to get in and out quicker and get less sweaty when you're training in summer and stuff like that. So to start it out, we're going to go real simple stuff. Um, you can jump into a front side 50-50. Cool. And now that you're on this side, you can go back side 50-50. So you're regular as well? I'm regular. I can see because when you're up, when you're riding, I can already see that your head's going to tilt in that yeah. direction. So do that again, front side 50-50. Cool. And now what I would recommend is as you get on, try to go a bit softer. So what I mean is um, try to make it um, not such an aggressive land on the balance bar. There you go. <laughs> I can hear the difference. Yeah. Can you, hear, can you guys hear the difference? Yeah. yeah. Because when, you, when you're actually on the mountain, and you start jumping into rails, you want that transition jump in to be as smooth yeah. as possible. So after 50-50s are really easy just on the balance bar, what you can do is add the white top piece because this is gonna give you a lot less to balance on and it's just gonna make it more tricky, more challenging for you, which is gonna make a better feel of mountain. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you're gonna see you've got a lot less to balance on here. And uh, I'm going to be here in case you need me to catch it. So you, if you reach out your arms or yell or anything, I'll get you. All right. But uh, you're going to try to get a front side 50-50 now, balancing on that. Okay. Should I? Yep. There you go. <sighs> oh. So what's happening here is because you've got less feature to get onto, you actually have to use more of your muscles. Yeah. So you might start shaking a little bit more or whatever, but you're just turning on a bit more balance, which is going to transition into your right. So go again, front side 50 50. And back side 50 50. Good. And now we're still on the easy one of the two boards. We're on the uh, tramp board, which is a foam bottom board. You want to make it more difficult again, let's get on the jib board. In fact, let's do that. So you're on a slick base board now, so it's slightly different. Jump up into the 50 50. Wider. It is a little wider. We can yeah. change that as well if we need to. And then go to the back side 50 50. So go on the 50 50, up the front side 50 50, see if you can hold it there. There you go. Now, what I want you to feel is see if you can just slide it around a little bit. There you go. Because you won't be able to do that with a foam one. Mm -hmm. But this is more like a real snowboard. Yeah. So go back up to the back side 50 50. Oops. And this is good. You have, to, you have to turn on that little bit. Take the momentum, if the momentum's starting to go off, you go off with it. Okay, one more time. <laughs> cool. Don't even try to hold it too long, okay. because if you did it on a snowboard, that's when you're likely to fall. So, if it starts going off, just go off with it. Okay, okay you want the next challenge? Okay. White top piece, slick base board. So, in terms of 50-50s, you're getting up to the harder ones. Okay. All right, come to the 50. Good. There you go, back to 50 50. Now we're going to see if we can do that again, but hold it twice as long. There you go. Good. So already you're starting to get on smoother and you're starting to hold it longer and you're starting to balance more. Mm -hmm. good. Good. Perfect. Good. And all the way over. Good. All right. 
So, um, when you're first learning 50-50s on the mountain, there's a lot of features that you can just ride straight onto. And that's where you should learn your 50-50s. But even on a straight on feature, you can still start to add little ollies, where you ollie just slightly to get onto that feature, which challenges your balance, makes it a little bit more harder, and it makes it look better. Because it's more stylish to jump onto a feature and jump off than it is just to ride on, okay? What we're doing here is frontside 50-50s and backside 50-50s, which is called street style. Um, so as you get better at snowboarding, a lot of the features, you actually have to jump on from one side or the other. And, uh, and you're starting to learn how to do that just from doing this. But that's not how you first learn on the mountain. Keep it on the easy boxes first. And uh, I'm gonna start stepping up now into some more difficult tricks. So this is Neville Blackwood from Snowboard Addiction. I'm here with Domi. And our goal is to improve your writing.